Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Want a piano that sounds like cats? There's an app for that. Want to slingshot angry birds at mean green pigs? There's an app for that. You want to read and sign a declaration that affirms marriage, life, and religious liberty? There used to be an app for that, but the folks at Apple yanked it from their online store. The Manhattan Declaration was written by Chuck Colson and Princeton professor Robbie George. It's a thoughtful and serious affirmation of Christian beliefs concerning God's design for marriage, the sanctity of human life, and the importance of religious freedom. About half a million people have signed it. But after some groups protested, Apple told us it removed the Manhattan Declaration app from the App Store because it violates our developer guidelines by being offensive to groups of large people. No, that's large groups of people. Large groups of people. Yep, marriage is too offensive an idea for Apple. I could take the easy route and point to the many embarrassing and objectionable apps that are still available that would offend actual large groups of people, but we all know this is really only about a certain group of people. So here are a few thoughts for our friends at Apple. You pulled the app after a certain group of people protested. After that success, do you think this will be the last time they ask you to stifle free expression or the first? I edit these videos on one of your MacBook Pros using your editing software. When will you set it to lock up anytime it detects these offensive ideas about marriage? If I call my wife on one of your iPhones to say, I love you too and I'm glad I married you, will the phone cut me off in the middle of the call? Hello? Can, can you hear me? No, wait, it does that already. As far as the Bible apps in your store, will you only delete the verses you find offensive or the entire Bible? And at what point will you start kicking me out of your store because I contain the beliefs that you say offend large groups of people? Or will you agree with us that having healthy debate is healthy and that being a bully is what's really offensive?